Hi, this is Ron with Mobile Fix Automotive again, here to help you out and hopefully get you to understand what we're facing with the Ford Triton spark plug motors blowing out the spark plugs. This is a normal occurrence on the 4.6 Triton, 5.4 Triton, and the 6.8 liter V10 Triton. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a snap-on bore scope, which is what I choose uh, with my business to use to do the Calvan inserts uh, when a Triton blows a spark plug. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over why this is happening in my opinion. And I do want everybody to understand this is my opinion. Uh, I've been doing this for 31 years. I've been installing the Calvan spark plug kits for over six. I've done hundreds of them never had a problem with one. It's the best kit on the market. However, there is an issue with Ford uh, saying that this is a spark plug issue and not a cylinder head issue. And I respectfully disagree with that. And so basically what I'm going to do right now is show you why I disagree with it. So what we're working on today, or I'm working on, and you're helping me here, is a 2001 Ford F-150 that's got a 5.4 liter Triton in it. This cylinder that we're looking at right now is cylinder number five. It's on the driver's side. It's all the way at the front of the engine, so it's the one closest to the radiator. Ford labels their cylinders from the passenger side back, one, two, three, four. Then they crisscross over to the driver's side and it goes five, six, seven, eight. Uh, if it's a V10, you just add two extra cylinders, one on each side. Uh, here's what I'm going to do to help you guys out. Stick with me. Okay, here's my bore scope screen. And I'm going to put this thing down in here. What we're looking at right now is a picture of the spark plug threads that were cut by Ford with their machine. At the very bottom of the screen, you see kind of a black space. That's the inside of the cylinder. That's where the piston's at. So we're on this picture we're counting spark plug threads from the cylinder outwards basically they're just like a cylinder uh, uh, the rings in a tree stump I guess is the easiest way to put it uh, so each one of those is a thread so with that being said we've got one two three four and an argument can be made for five I'm counting four and a half okay as we come up the cylinder, you notice that it gets smooth. It's just kind of a, a kind of a char chocolate brown smooth sidewall. Okay, there's no threads cut here at all. Never has been. It's not like they disappeared. They just never got cut. That's my opinion. Right here is what I call the shelf. This is where the spark plug actually stops when you screw it in. If you, when I show you the spark plug uh, insert from Calvan later on, you're going to see uh, a ridge around the top of it. This is what that ridge sits on. And so from this point down, there should be spark plug threads all the way down into this hole. And there isn't. That's all you get. Okay, so what we're dealing with is this is an F-150 once again with a 5.4. It's got 85,300 original miles. It has the Ford factory motorcraft plug in it, or it did till I pulled it out. Nobody has removed the spark plug from this cylinder head since Ford rolled it off the assembly line in 2001. Didn't have enough miles to change it. They're 100,000 mile plugs, so to speak. Okay, this video is basically here to help you understand what we're facing and what we're up against with the spark plug issue. So hang tight for me for a second. I'm going to show you a little more. Okay, and here we have a Ford uh, Motocraft spark plug. When I do these Triton inserts, I only install Motocraft plugs. I don't like running aftermarket parts uh, for the spark plugs. Here's our dilemma, folks. Work with me here. Kind of being sarcastic. But starting from where my thumb is, right here, counting up, how many threads do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once again, an argument could be made for 11. Anybody see a problem with that? 
Got 11 threads on the spark plug, four and a half threads in the spark plug hole. That means that when this spark plug is sitting inside the cylinder head, the bottom half of the spark plug is the only thing holding it into the cylinder head. So if this spark plug starts to come loose, which is what Ford is saying happens, if it, if it backs out one or two threads, you only have two threads left holding it in. So boom, it pops out of the engine. And you end up with this, a broken coil pack most of the time. There's supposed to be a, a bolt hole right here that holds this down to the intake manifold. This is the coil sits on top of the spark plug. This is the spark plug itself, which is actually still in this coil. This kind of makes me laugh because 99% of the time you never find the spark plug again. And when you do, it's usually laying on top of the intake manifold. You can see it bounced up and down with the compression of the engine and smashed the electrode flat. Okay, so this is, this is what we're dealing with. When this happens, for those of you that want to know what the symptom is, when this blows out, it sounds like you have a huge exhaust leak. Or for those of you that don't know what an exhaust leak sounds like, it's basically just a pop, 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 pop sound. Now, I said I like to use Ford Motorcraft parts. There is an exception. I like these Denso coil packs. They're relatively expensive. They're half the price of the dealer coil packs. Um, and they're extremely high quality. This little ear right here where the bolt hole is, that's actually what breaks off. When the spark plug comes out, you know, you basically have 180 to 200 pounds of uh, compression and it just blows this completely out of the top of the engine, breaks the ear off, you have to replace the coil pack. If this coil pack is broken, folks, do not reuse it. Like this one here that I just showed you. If the ear's busted off of it, throw it in the trash can, put another one on because what's gonna happen is if you stick it under there and push it back on the spark plug, no matter how you fix the insert, if it rattles back off, it's gonna end up with a misfire, you're gonna burn your catalytic converter up and you're gonna fail your smog test. Now we get to the good part. This is my favorite tool. Folks, in the industry, I've been doing this 31 years. This is the best tool kit for spark plug inserts I have found. It is manufactured by a company called Calvan. You can buy them yourself. I'm trying to get it to zoom in for the part number. 38900 is the part number. It's a Ford Triton insert installer. This kit is designed specifically for the two valve Triton. Once again, I make the comment on the video that if your uh, coil pack has this little 30 degree kick out to it, see how the the coil pack comes straight down and then it just kind of turns to the right. That's a two valve Triton if you have this style coil. If your coil pack looks like this on the top but the rubber boot at the bottom is pointed straight down, then that's a three valve Triton. We're, that's a whole different animal. I'm not even gonna discuss those right now. So back to this kit. This is the stainless steel insert that Calvan came up with. This is one hellacious spark plug insert. This is JB welded into the cylinder head after the head's been tapped, drilled and tapped basically. And in all the years I've been replacing these, I have never had one of these fail. I'm just showing you what the kit looks like. If you want to reference my video on how to actually use this kit, look at my other videos. I've got over 50,000 views. Uh, on this on how to do this and most people pretty much like the way I've done it I've gotten a lot of positive feedback also gotten a couple of monkey complaints, but you get that pretty much anywhere you go This is the uh, the guide that will go down Into the spark plug hole to make sure that your drill bit stays straight And this is the drill bit that will drill the hole out And then this is the tap that taps the threads so basically, this is what we're dealing with with the spark plugs blown out. And the only way I can see fixing this is to just install the inserts. Um, typically, I tell my customers not to do every cylinder because of how cost effective it is to do these. Um, I have had customers blow multiple cylinders. You know, they'll have me install number three, which is the common one to blow. And then a month or two later, number five might blow out and they have to bring it back. 
and very rarely do I ever have customers blow more than two. But I have had a handful of them uh, that have had me that have had four blow within six months, and they finally bring it back and just say, "Just do them all, so we don't have to deal with it again." Um, my name is Ron. I'm with Mobile Fix Automotive. My phone number and my address is at the very beginning of this video. I hope this helps you understand why your spark plugs are blowing out of your head, in my opinion. If you have any questions or need any help or advice on how to do this kit, or if you want me to do it for you, give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you and have a nice day.